In this demonstration, I'll show you how to rearrange formulas to isolate for a variable. Question A reads, P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Solve for L when P is equal to 300 and W is equal to 10. This formula right here represents the perimeter of a rectangle. The goal here is to first isolate for the letter and then substitute the numbers that represent those letters. So our target is this L right here. That's This is our target. And what we have to do is move this term over, this 2W, move it over to the other side, where we end up with P minus 2W is equal to 2L. Notice how this 2W was initially positive, and then by moving it over to the other side, it becomes negative. Our next step is to get rid of this 2. Now, to get rid of this 2, you need to divide both sides by 2. And if you do that, the 2s cancel out. Where you're left with, the length is equal to the perimeter minus 2 times the width over 2. And now we can substitute these two numbers into our formula, where P is equal to 300 and W is equal to 10. So what I'll do next is erase this P and erase this W and replace it with 10 for the W and 300 for the P. Using our calculator, we get 300 minus 2 bracket 10 press equals divided by 2 gives me 140. So the length has to be 140 units long. Now notice that when I replaced this 300, I didn't put brackets around it, whereas I did put brackets around this 10. And you usually put brackets around a number when you notice that it's being multiplied by another. So pretend I hadn't put these brackets, take a look, our number would look like 210. So make sure that you put brackets around numbers as you substitute them inside. Let's try B. Here we're asked to solve for R when A is equal to 35 for the formula A is equal to pi R squared, which is the area of a circle. We'll first get rid of this pi by dividing both sides by pi. And if we do that, we end up with A over pi is equal to R to the power of 2. Now we have this squared value right here. R is being squared. To get rid of a squared value, you square root both sides. The square root of r squared and the square root of a over pi. Now this radical symbol will get rid of this 2, where we end up with r is equal to the square root of a over pi. Now I can substitute my 35 into my a, and if I do that I end up with r is equal to the square root of 35 over pi, and this will give me my radius. So let's do this. Press the square root symbol, 35 divided by pi gives you 3.33. Now make sure that when you use your calculator, you actually use the pi symbol. Do not use 3.14. That will give you a number that's slightly off. So our final answer is 3.33. Let's continue. Our next question asks us to determine the radius of a sphere with a volume of 1,000 centimeters cubed. Now this is the volume of a sphere. What we have to do first is isolate for this r. Now this formula is a little more complicated than the previous ones because we have a fraction introduced into our formula. So let's rewrite this formula in, in a way that makes more sense. So we have v is equal to 4 pi r cubed over 3. Notice what I did here. I took this 4 and I grouped it with the pi r cubed and I put the 3 at the bottom. Now we know that when you have to solve an equation containing a fraction, you always have to get rid of that fraction somehow. Now, to get rid of this 3, you have to multiply both sides by 3. And if you multiply this side by 3, notice what will happen. The 3 will cancel out. And you're left with 3v is equal to 4 pi r cubed. Now, we will divide both sides by 4 and this pi. Remember, pi is just a number, so we can group those together. If I divide 4 pi on both ends, I end up with r cubed is equal to 3v over 4 pi. Now, unlike before where we had r to the power of 2, now we have r to the power of 3. So we're going to have to take the third root of both sides, also known as the cube root. So let's do that. The cube root of the left side and the cube root of the right side. The cube root of the left side gives us simply r. And on the right side, we have... Now, to save space, what I'll do next is substitute 1,000 into my V without rewriting everything. 
Now since I'm substituting a number beside another, you're going to put it in brackets. I'm going to use my calculator. Now to do this all in one step, you want to find out where this button is located on your calculator. So for me it's shift and that button. And then we'll multiply this 3 with the 1000, which we already know is 3000, divided by 4 shift this button, which gives you pi. Now you end up with 6.20. Radius is equal to 6.20. Moving on to our last question. Find the base length of a square base pyramid with a volume of 483 meters cubed and a height of 9.2 meters. This is the formula that represents the volume and they want us to solve for this B. We're going to use the same technique as before. I'm going to rewrite this in a way that's more understandable. 1 times B squared times h, anything times 1 is itself, so I'm going to erase this 1, there's no need for that, over 3, and I'm also going to erase this dot, which represents multiply. Next, I will try to solve for b. I need to get rid of this 3, multiply both sides by 3, I'm just using the same method as before, 3v is equal to b squared times h. Next, I'll divide both sides by h, because I need to isolate for b. This cancels out, and I'm left with b squared is equal to the left side. And for our last step, we're going to square both sides. The square of 3v over h is equal to b. Now I'm going to substitute what they have given me. v is equal to 483. h is equal to 9.2. The square root of 3 times 483 over 9.2 will give me my base value. The square root of 3 times 483 divided by 9.2, approximately 12.54 meters. So there you have it. Four examples on how to rearrange formulas to isolate for any given variable. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.